Hello, I'm Davis, a PhD student at Stanford, and I'll be presenting Humor, a 3D human motion model for robust pose estimation. In this work, we address the problem of estimating 3D human motion from a variety of noisy and partial dynamic observations. We propose an expressive generative model called Humor, which learns a distribution of plausible human motion. This model is leveraged as a prior and a flexible optimization-based approach to robustly estimate pose, shape, and ground contacts from ambiguous observations. Our approach produces smooth and realistic motions when applied to a variety of input modalities, including RGB video, RGBD, and even highly dynamic motions. Accurate perception of human motion is crucial to important applications like holistic scene understanding, character animation, and even action recognition, all of which benefit from knowledge of 3D human pose, shape, contacts, and interactions. Recently, substantial progress has been made towards this goal with methods to recover human motion from dynamic observations like RGB video. However, this remains a challenging problem, and methods continue to struggle in situations that are key for downstream applications. For example, bodies are often occluded by surrounding furniture, as shown here. But state-of-the-art methods tend to produce unreasonable motions in these cases, which break our prior knowledge of how humans can move in and interact with their environment. Our method tackles these difficult scenarios to produce reasonable and consistent motion even when the person is partially occluded. To achieve this, the key idea is to first learn what constitutes plausible human motion, and then use this to constrain the motion reconstruction. In particular, we make three main contributions. The first is humor, a motion model that learns the dynamics of 3D human motion, which is used as a prior in a test time optimization to estimate plausible pose and shape from multiple modalities. To model human motion, we're interested in the likelihood of a sequence of pose states. Instead of modeling this directly, we factorize it into a sequence of transitions. Then, humor must learn the plausibility of a transition between two poses, or in other words, the distribution of how a pose will change in a single time step. To be useful for pose estimation, which operates on a diverse set of bodies and motions, the model must be both expressive and generalizable. One potential avenue is a physics-based approach, which naturally generalizes, but requires knowledge of unobservable physical quantities. On the other hand, learned models like motion VAE nicely handle future uncertainty, but struggle to generalize past a small set of body shapes or motions. Humor uses a similar learning-based approach, but takes inspiration from physics-based models to enable successful generalization. Humor is a conditional variational autoencoder. In order to sample a motion sequence, it uses both prior and decoder neural networks. The input is the previous pose state, which is based on the simple body model and includes things like joint angles, positions, and velocities, along with root pose and velocity. The conditional prior encodes this state to a Gaussian distribution over latent variables. This can be thought of as capturing all possible transitions to the next pose. After sampling from this distribution, the decoder maps the latent transition to two outputs, first the change in state, and second a binary classification of ground contacts. To continue generating past a single step, the output is used as input to the next step in an autoregressive fashion. Overall, we see this architecture parallels the stochastic physical model by interpreting the latent vectors as generalized forces. These forces are inputs to the decoder, which can be viewed as a dynamics model followed by Euler integration. At training time, an encoder is introduced and the loss is based on the typical conditional VAE lower bound. This contains both a reconstruction and KL divergence term. Humor is trained on pairs of frames from a mass, a large set of motion capture data, which enables it to learn a wide range of motions and body shapes. As a result, humor is a capable standalone generative model. In these examples, random motions are sampled for body shapes that were not seen during training. The motion is largely physically realistic, 
indicating the model has learned a distribution of plausible transitions as we desired. Furthermore, when motion is generated repeatedly, starting from the same initial state, as shown here, the model produces a diverse set of possible futures. We take advantage of this generative capability to improve pose estimation within an optimization-based approach. The goal of optimization is to find the 3D pose and shape of a person in the form of simple parameters. The motion must be consistent with the given input observations though, for example, 2D joint positions in a video. This kind of approach has been explored in numerous prior works that directly optimize for simple parameters. However, most use naive motion priors like smoothness along with static pose priors, which does not sufficiently account for severe occlusions and noise. We propose to use humor in two key ways to encourage plausibility during optimization. First, instead of directly optimizing simple parameters, we use humor to parameterize the motion. This is done through an initial state and a sequence of latent transitions. Taken together, humor's decoder is used to perform a deterministic rollout and recover the motion that they represent. Not only is this a compact representation of the optimization variables, it also inherently encourages realistic motion and estimates ground contacts for free. Second, by evaluating the prior network during rollout, we know the distribution of latent variables at each step, which is used to evaluate the likelihood of the transition sequence. In addition to motion parameters, shape and ground plane parameters are also optimized. Following optimization, the final outputs are then 3D poses, shape, contacts, and the ground plane for the observed sequence. The objective of the optimization is to fit observations as close as possible while keeping motion plausible. This is done with three objectives. The motion prior term encourages latent transitions to be likely under the humor prior as described previously. A Gaussian mixture model is also used as a prior over the initial pose x0. The data term is the only component of our pipeline that depends on the modality of the observations. Some examples include a reprojection error when given 2D joints or chamfer distance given a 3D point cloud. Finally, additional regularization terms promote plausibility early in optimization. These include both skeleton and ground contact consistency losses. Together, these objectives enable robust recovery of motion even when observations are partial and noisy. As a proof of concept, we first evaluate the proposed approach on sequences of 3D observations from held out mocap sequences. In these examples, partial upper body key points with known correspondences are given as input to the method. Since the lower body is not observed through the input points, the plausible leg motion prevalent in the output is a result of using humor as a motion prior. Specifically, the model has learned that various upper body motion correlates with certain stepping patterns. The proposed optimization can also handle extremely noisy inputs as shown here. Ground contacts, which are a nice byproduct of parameterizing motion with humor, are visualized on the output. By using humor as a prior, the resulting output motion is denoised but not over smoothed, since the model can still capture dynamic motions with large accelerations. Next, our model is evaluated on RGB inputs by fitting to 2D joint detections. Despite heavy occlusions with the environment, sitting and walking motions are successfully reconstructed. Furthermore, ground contacts are accurately recovered even when feet are entirely occluded. Quantitatively, we compare our approach to VIBE, a recent learning-based method, along with an optimization-based baseline that encourages smoothness over time instead of using humor as a motion prior. VIBE gives locally accurate results, but is globally inconsistent as indicated by large global joint errors and accelerations. Moreover, optimization without humor struggles when legs are occluded, 
causing worse leg joint errors and frequent ground penetrations. Qualitatively, the improvement of humor is apparent. For this sidestepping motion, baselines fail to produce plausible leg motion when they are occluded. During occluded sitting, baselines give severe ground penetrations. By fitting to both 3D point clouds and 2D joints, the proposed optimization additionally works for RGBD videos. In these examples, output motions and ground planes are visualized with the true scene mesh for reference. Despite not using the scene mesh as input, estimated motions realistically interact with the environment. Though promising, our method does fail in some cases. For example, extreme occlusions that leave a small subset of the body visible is particularly challenging. Further, since our method heavily relies on motion to determine plausibility, uncommon motions or static people can cause erroneous pose and ground estimations. Finally, the proposed method is not limited to estimating simple walking and sitting motions. It's also capable of capturing highly dynamic motions such as dancing shown here. In summary, humor is an expressive generative model that captures plausible human motions, and when applied to pose and shape estimation through optimization, it enables robust reconstruction even under partial or noisy observations. Thank you for your attention.